שלום וברכה. We are learning from the book of creation, book of making, Sefer Yetzira. We are in the introduction of the Rived, in the 16th path. So the 16th path is called eternal mind, eternal wisdom. And it's called so because it is a dun hakavod, the pleasure of honor, that there is no honor that is not included in that as it is and it's called the garden of eden that is prepared for the true chasidim to the true righteous ones so again the path the 19 the 16th path i will read it now in hebrew and explain again nikra sechel nitzchi eternal mind and it's called so because it is idun hakavod venikra ken mipne shehu idun hakavod שאין כבוד למטה הימנו, as it is, כמו שהוא. There is no honor that is not included in it. And it's called, והוא נקרא, גן עדן, the garden of Eden, heaven, המוכן לחסידים, that is prepared for the true righteous and חסידים, true ones that are sacrificing themselves for Hashem, giving everything they have for the honor of Hashem. So, why is it called eternal mind? Because... Eternity is the connection to the Creator. We live here in this world of lies, a world that is full of distractions and coverings from light, cannot see the truth that is one, and that all particles and all parts are eternal and connected in great unity, in amazing um, harmony. This is something that we cannot see from this world. So the eternal mind is the connection to infinity that allows us to go out from this world of separation and constrictions to a place of understanding that is heavenly. And this is why it's called the Gan Eden, the Garden of Eden, that is prepared for the true righteous ones. The ones who understood that that the world is full of Hashem's honor what does it mean honor and this is why the honor is pleasured idun hakavod because the real pleasure is to understand what honor is honor rabbi yochanan kara lemane mechabduta rabbi yochanan called the um, coverings the outfits of a person his honor it's the tool that the creator gave us to understand the difference from one thing to the other by his covering so if the king is dressed with his royal uh, garments you will recognize him as a king but if you will just wear a tie and a suit you won't recognize his kingship you will think that he is a lawyer or a, a, a clerk in a bank or a banker you you will never imagine for him to be the king because of his coverings so the coverings are the thing that makes you recognize the thing as it is. At least that's what we hope. So when the land is full of Hashem's honor, by seeing those curtains that are surrounding everything in this world, we can recognize and know and learn things about Hashem. And without the coverings, without the outfits that Hashem is covering Himself for this world, we wouldn't be able to know Hashem at all. And this is why this is the great pleasure of recognizing the honor of Hashem, means His coverings and His outfits that are allowing us to understand things about Him. So through the limitations of this world of physicality, we can see and connect ourselves to infinity. And it's prepared for the true righteous ones and the Hasidim. Now we will learn the 17th path. The 17th path is called Sechel HaHergesh, the mind of feeling, senses. And he is ready to Chasideh HaEmuna, to the righteous ones who are Chasidim of faith, that are ready to come closer to Hashem through faith, to believe in Him. Lehit Labsham Bo, that they are wearing themselves in Ruach Kedusha, Holy Spirit. And it is called Yesod, the foundation of the Tiferet, HaTiferet, glory, Bema'amad Ha'elyonim, 
in the place of the where the divine upper ones are standing great wisdom great uh, talent of the author to put his words in such amazing amazing poetic and genius way so a mind of feeling an ability to sense is ready for the true righteous ones who are sacrificing themselves to believe in Hashem that are um, dedicating themselves to believe in, believe in Hashem in any situation in their lives and by that they're dressing themselves in Holy Spirit and that Holy Spirit is the foundation for the glory while standing in the position where all the true divine righteous ones are standing in the upper world so it means that when a person that we have an access to a certain path of wisdom that can allow us to feel and sense some deep thing that is prepared to the true believers that they when they are being defined and called true believers they are dressing holy spirit means that they are gaining huge spiritual achievements and understandings that are the foundation and glory for them to be able to stand among the true righteous ones and angels that are standing in the upper hierarchies in the world to come deep wisdom the 18th path is called sechel bet hashefa the mind of the house of bounty of the source of bounty and mitoch u mitoch chakirato and from investigating about it when people are trying to find that place that is called sechel bet hashefa the mind of the source of bounty moshchim raz vechida the ones that are hamitlonenim betzido that are sheltering under his shade vehadvekim bechakirat mamashuto and are dedicated to investigate his own existence means to find out more about Hashem's real existence they are moshchim raz vechida pulling secret and riddle me'ilat ha'ilot from the reason of all reasons Again, we're enjoying a great wisdom of a true righteous one that was able to reveal true light for us in such a beautiful, wonderful way. So the 18th path is called the mind of the house of bounty, the source of bounty. And while people are desiring to find it, they're pulling answers to the riddle and to the secrets. They're finding the answers to them. And they are those ones who are protecting themselves like hiding covering themselves under the wings of Hashem and dedicated that their lives are dedicated for finding his truthfulness and knowing their answers from the reason of all reasons means from the source where it's all begin it's Hashem thank you very much and may Hashem answer our prayers Amen